recession fears have only intensified, right? Ever since we got that big 75 basis points rate hike by the Fed last week. And now we have a lot of reports coming in on the likelihood of such an event in the US. So Goldman Sachs is actually the latest. They say that there's a higher chance of a recession next year uh, than, of course, that they earlier expected. In fact, they say that the risk has doubled now to 30% versus what their earlier estimate was of a 15% possibility. Morgan Stanley has also written a, no uh, a note on the same, and they say that there are 50-50 odds of a recession, but they still do believe that it can be completely avoided. Next up, we have Nomura. They say that the U.S. is more likely than not to sink into a recession. That is, they believe that there is a higher than 50% chance that we could see a recession in the U.S. So they say that rapidly slowing growth as well as a Fed that is committed to restoring price stability will lead to a mild recession. And they see this starting in the fourth quarter of this year itself, that is of 2022. Let's also look at what JP Morgan has to say on the subject. They say that the risk of a recession has now surged to 85% based on market price action. And this is post the Fed uh, rate hike. Lastly, we also have a report from Wells Fargo. And they say that near-term recession in the US is a foregone conclusion. It will happen. The only question is the duration and the severity that we might see. So they believe that the US will tip into a recession next year, that is in 2023. So that's a roundup on the likelihood of a recession.